Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more of the Saints stream today. I am Amanda, also known as Commanda, and joined by me, we have a very special guest. We have Connor Fitzy Hello. here. Hello. Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah, Happy thank you here. for thank you for being here. Yeah, it's a very exciting day. Uh, unveiling the uh, Alienware lab for uh, all of our students at St. Clair to come visit and check out. So pretty exciting day and lots of raffles and fun things happening. I mean, you just had the Q&A. How was that? Got some good questions. Got some good questions. Oh, ready, yeah. to, ready to, you know, give those minds something to think about. You know, if you want to go into content creation, you know, what what is to what is to come? What are the challenges and whatnot? So very good, very insightful. Hope hopefully I was insightful. I oh, absolutely. Know. Yeah, I heard a little bit over in the back, so it sounded good to me. Um, I could hear a little bit in the background. It sounded like we were almost getting into I game here. Overwatch Q pop. Yeah, I know, right? I hear that that sound in my dreams now. Sure. It's like you know. Um, I'm actually finding out for production right now. Map one is a classic uh, Lijiang Tower. Oh, it's classic. Also very classic on the Saints broadcast. We used to call it Saints Row. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because oh, they would always it pick it. it. Yep. So it looks oh, like our teams here today, we're going to see some new faces and some old. Mainly uh, our Varsity and Academy teams here today. We have like Razor, Red X. Uh, we have Injustice. We have Judgmental, Zay. Uh, but we also have Love Note, Noxious. Available, an old face there from like two or three years ago on the varsity team, Soaks. And then I do not know how to pronounce that name. I'm gonna be honest, but I think that is Hosway. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna get right into the game here. Yeah, we can see Razor gonna get a kill immediately here. Noxious gonna get a little bit of revenge, taking out Red X. Still a bit of a struggle in that shelter on the side. Well, it looks like Razor just killing everybody now. Oh, you know? yeah. Uh, Somber fell, but not in vain. Um, you know, they call him Winton for a reason. He's going to win. He's yeah, gonna win exactly. Twice. I'm surprised we don't have any D.Va. You know, she's a, a terror, but uh, she did get nerfed, you know, oh, this yeah. week. So um, maybe, or, you know, maybe they're not comfortable on D.Va. Not sure. Might but be of course, I got to see this Sombra gameplay here. Oh, yeah. Running away at Classic. We're gonna have uh, like very judgmental on uh, Red X's gameplay right now. We have the Sombra expert. <laughs> uh, looks like. Let's see who capped here. What, 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 what do you even call these teams? The teal team and the yellow team? <laughs> I, I think that's what we'll go with. That makes a lot of sense. Like green and yellow oh, it says or something. Oh, team right there in the bottom. So we got team oh, right yeah. and, and team left. And team I left. See. So team left, you know, they're up They're up 25. We have some alts coming up. You know, we got Ramatra and uh, we got Winston. So obviously Lijong, very good to primal people off the map here. Gonna be seeing that here in a second. Maybe. Oh yeah, it looks like Razor gonna go in, try to just like clean house. Zay, gonna get out of there, but oh my goodness, we're gonna see the boop come out. Lots of people falling off the map. The Primal Rage still going strong. Yeah, unfortunately Sombra got picked before the fight and uh, it's a tough one. Uh, but it looks like they're starting to turn it now in the, in the longer fight. Oh, oh here he Noxious. goes here. Shut it down. Yeah, Noxious is just gonna throw those knives and clean up. Going very well for the yellow team right now at 50% on the point. A classic spawn kill tried to happen. Um, unfortunately, Anna's, you know, she's pretty good. She can hold her own. She's, oh, absolutely. Uh, she's, she's Anna Amari. She had to put up with Vera, so. Exactly. Not a small feat. Oh, we're uh, gonna see the D.Va now, there I you go. I was gonna say, we <laughs> see the D.Va and we have EMP coming in. So, unfortunately, DMAC happens right then. A uh, little miscommunication on timing. Um, you really wanna, you know, burst them down together. Um, so it looks like that'll be a loss. And, uh, you know, what else do we have? What else do we have coming up? We got, you know, Bob's pretty far. So this next one with the Molten Core and Beat Drop uh, could be pretty good. I think this will be, I mean, it has to be. They got 10% left, so they yeah. got to hustle. Hopefully Sarver can get the touch and, and go from there. 
Yeah, this is scary for the green team. Or Sombra team got left. caught out though. And that, oh. I think that's it. Did that, do you think? Oh, the, what was that? Was that the boop or was that the vortex? I think that was the Ramatra vortex. I think that it was too. That sucked her down yeah. so she couldn't fly through the window. Wow. That's crazy. That was a big play. That was. Um, you know, Moan Core on there and Beat Drop comes in. It's not a big point. You can you can get caught around there. Um, so yeah, very very uh, very forward thinking about using every part of the kit. You know, I don't think a lot of people try to utilize Ramatra to pull people down. Yeah. Um, At any cost. But yeah, an, a, it is a slow and a, and a vortex. So yeah, very Interesting. cool. Interesting. See, I'm learning lots of new things too because uh, I am in what's known as Elo Hell. You know, like oh. the gold plat tier kind of like you know, not the greatest of players, but I know I know a little bit of Overwatch. But uh, yeah, that, learning lots of new strats every time I watch the Saints broadcast. These players are really like on top of their game. Uh, we could see our team here. This is the right team, I believe, the green team, um, with mostly varsity and academy players, as well as the varsity coach, Zay, at the very end. Um, and then the other team is, I think, more so academy here. We have um, available ex-varsity player. Uh, yeah, so it's actually kind of interesting that they're in the lead right now. Well, it did look like some, uh, some tech issues of some port some tech issues were happening there uh, as we I'm not sure who it was but they were you know on their knees yeah. trying to figure out the <laughs> you see them, like, it the wouldn't keyboard. be a LAN if there wasn't some sort of issue exactly. you know it happens at every stream it's it's not my stream unless there's something going wrong <laughs> you know those dang windows updates oh, they yeah. mess up everything or like whenever the the windows ping or whatever comes up in the corner and uh, then everybody's in the chat like oh, oh I is have that to, my computer I have to tell them every time yeah, I no, say that guys me. that was me I'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry um, exactly but yeah i uh i'm looking forward to the next man the next round yeah, shall next i say round of map um, one yes now the question is whether or not it will be on command center or if it will be on gardens i can't remember what's the map we just did i believe it was garden uh, i always mix those two up there's the gardens there's the command center and the or control center i'm yeah, so sorry that's, control that's center it, yeah. not command center yeah um, but if it's if it's control center i feel like that's the most of the um oh and market markets yeah oh one. yes so that's the name of it i can I can't remember if them. we just did market or if we just did i never remember the names i think of the market is like the one with the like big square like the oh. yeah okay <laughs> well we'll see here if we're on uh if we're, it looks like we are, well, we're getting oh, dizzy yeah. here. That's we're what we're doing. We're going to throw up is what we're going <laughs> to uh, But no, it looks like we're here on Control Center. Uh, you know, a lot of more Rush Comp, more Reinhardt type stuff. Um, so we'll see if they, they continue that. Uh, looks like still a little potential, maybe tech issue. We'll see with Sojourn there. Ooh, we're going to see the Zarya, actually. Soaps is going to bring that out. Uh, and Ramatra, so should be interesting here. Yeah, sometimes you see, uh, you know, Pharah on this map, or maybe just yeah. like Pharah one tricks, and they just happen to be here. But um, it could be a, it could be a tough, uh, you know, there's a, there's a long choke to fight through, and that spam could be good, which is why we're seeing the Junkrat as well. Oh yeah, um, Junkrat is lethal on this map. Man, you could, you're just trying to peek a corner and you're done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Zarya can soak up a lot of that, get full energy. Um, it looks like that's that's what's happening. So uh, we'll see if they switch it up. We're switching it up to another Zarya mirror. Um, so Ooh, the we... Echo comes out, actually. Speaking of, like, Farah, Echo is another one of those characters that can just, like, sit way up at the top of the point and just rain bullets down on you. Yeah, and, you know, it, it, with the... Let's see, we have the, the Junk and the Torb. It's not, uh, not the easiest to lock her down. Um, but also not the easiest to heal with Moira and Anna. Eh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, at least it's not Lucio Juno. That thing is terrible to heal with flying heroes. But it looks like we're trying to speed in here. Tough with a uh, tough with a junk rat into the. Oh, and he had the flank angle no. from Noxious, knocking out two. Dang, Baptiste is. Oh. Uh, looks like we are gonna go right back in the game here. Team kill, Noxious doing work. Soak's gonna clean it up, take out Razor. Uh, looked like Razor tried to mirror uh, what was going on with our team right. Yeah, and uh, with a window coming up here, um, it's gonna be a tough push into this. No ults from, the, from our, our left team. 
Uh, and so team right, there is the grab. We've got the we've got the grab and the and the molt. No, not the molt core. The molt core is. I don't know what I heard. But it looks like a looks like a team right should be able to hold this. There's enough ults. It's Q o'clock, as I like to say. <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, Razor's coming in here and. Uh, Cleaning some people up. Uh, maybe able to turn this. Yeah, it looks like Echo gonna try to clean up there. Noxious still doing work on that Baptiste. We're gonna hear the Graviton Surge come out. I think that's for the blue team. Yeah, Noxious and Soak's gonna get taken out. And it looks like uh, blue team, or I guess green team in this scenario are going to uh, clean that up. Yeah, the grab was the grab was enough to lock lock someone down and uh, and get enough get enough momentum to send them back to spawn. Uh, and with 87%, it's really one fight. If they lose a fight, it's going to be tough uh, unless someone dies really early and they get in touch. Um, so we're looking at one fight territory for this map, but Ooh, both supports down for yellow right now. This is going to be tough. Yeah, but losing the tank, that can be tough if uh, they get a little little regroup here and push in uh, with the Reinhardt um, before the Zarya can get back. Depends on if, you know, Lucio goes to pick him up uh, and help defend that first initial push. But without a tank, it's it's tough to stand there in the front line. You know, all the bullets are oh, coming. Absolutely. And you're just shooting straight into a shield. So uh, we do have beat drop here and everyone's back. So I don't see a way that, uh, you know, Unless there's a couple picks, we've had we've had Bap, now we've had uh, then Zen. Now we're on Kiriko, so playing a lot of heroes that can get picks, uh, Noxiouses, and he was earlier. So we'll see if we continue. Yeah, Red X with the Molten Core trying to clean up the Reinhardt here. Soak's gonna go down to him and Zay. The tire comes out. Doesn't look like. Oh, okay. It was just a insurance tire there. You know, Junkrats, they have something against flying heroes. They really just want to kill them. Doesn't oh, matter yeah. how you do it, as long as they're dead. Which is crazy that he can just lob bombs at you, and somehow they always find their mark. It's like they're master physicists. Noxious gets Every the Junkrat pick, player. and we got Shatter coming in. Will Zari be able to block it? Or will Moira fade? Straight oh. on the junk red. You know, he's taking the tire trying to get the echo. And Ryan said, Well, you're going to be shattered into the ground. <laughs> Earth. Yeah. Oh, looks like the point has been flipped. Ooh. Gonna take the point here, actually. Green gonna take it right back. 99%. I don't Lucio think yellow touched. can contest. Lucio got the touch. Oh my gosh. I don't even know yeah, what's like happening. So many things three. happening on the screen. <laughs> Look, a little so celebratory excited. punch, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the question is on this next map, will there be Symmetra? I don't know. See, Symmetra, oh, Symmetra on this map, as soon as you walk into that little, like, the, where the point is, you just get microwaved. And it's so, like, especially if you have, like, if you want to be, like, really toxic and go, like, Symmetra Torbjorn, and then they just walk in and instantly die, then, uh, I mean, that's fun, too, but... <laughs> Yeah, the, the TP to the window is very strong, oh, um, yeah. especially if you can Lucy out at the start. It looks like we do have a Symmetra starting. Sometimes, you know, you just TP out of spawn. Yeah. We'll, see if, uh, we'll see if they TP to point. Um, walking at a point. Um, so it's speed boost versus teleporter. Who will get to point first? And question. The teleporter's oh. there. Yep. And now it's with these sim turrets, it's hard to break through this. Um, Absolutely. It's a, it's a sustained war a little bit from shooting from afar. Junkrat spam can get a pick though, so. Especially um, when you aren't like a, a shield tank, like holding that up for your team to walk through, it's very difficult. Although Zarya does get good charge, so it is kind of the trade off. Yeah, and you can see both teams kind of, you know, they're both doing very well here of not pushing into it to die to Sim and not staying on point. Because uh, that's sometimes a mistake is like, oh, we'll just cap the point. Um, and yeah, looks like looks like a uh, team left got in there, capped it, uh, and now it's just who will win this long fight. Hmm. And Zarya's kind of cleaning up. I think Winston went down, and that was that was kind of it. Um, and the question is, will we stay on Sim? That is the question. Looks like that teleporter was taken out, but that's not gonna stop Love Note. I'm gonna go around the side, get a little bit of healing, and gear up for the fight here. 
Yeah, sometimes you can you can kind of just put a teleporter down, fake him out, but May gets a pick, and that might be their entry in. Uh, oh my Junkrat gosh. also taken out. Wow. A and the Blizzard the on the point all. takes over the entire point, and that is going to be it. Man, what is that? Three kills in a... May, May, May. What do we have here? Oh my good Saints, I'm not saying that you should take him off Omega Strikers, but maybe you need to sign this guy again for <laughs> Overwatch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> So now the defense is up. We have the window. Uh, what else do we have? We got some coalescence versus window. What wins? Hmm. I think Depends on if 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 team left can speed through the window when it's dropped. Um, I think they can be fine, but it's going to be tough to push into this choke while window's up. Um, and with a wall coming right after, I just don't see how they're going to get through until uh, something like Beast Drop or Grab comes up. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the Coalescence. You can see that come through from Zay right into the hallway, but they're doing a half-decent job of kiting it. Yeah, there, it was more of a defensive Coalescence, uh, yeah. but then that, you know, the, the wall was retaliated, so now it's down to just the... Well, now they got Grab. They got Grab. It's oh, coming up, true. and it's a big one. Oh, the Keeping massive. Keeping the momentum. Oh, my goodness. Next fight, there's going to be... Nano, there's gonna be window, and there is going to be Blizzard for the yellow team. But the green team also looking to have Tire up, beat uh, Molten Core, and oh, grab pick on May. Ooh. That could that's that's kind of their uh, you know they don't have to worry about that wall. You can kind of freely push through. Turrets are down. There comes the, probably the window and the Molten Core. Oh, and there's who a will core? step it in. Okay, Graviton Surge didn't seem to get anybody, but the Molten Core maybe just helped zone there. Love Note gonna take out Red X. The Immortality Field stopping oh. the kill. Stalling. Oh my goodness. She does eventually fall, Anna does eventually fall, but um, yeah, saved a lot of time there. Um, and with 5% with left, they have to take this point now. Red X is gonna try to go to toward Bjorn mode on the point here. Not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, looks it, like yeah. Team Right gonna win this though. Yeah, you know the Symmetra. They 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 got to point first. They didn't cap. They lost that actually. Yeah. Uh, which happens. And uh, but they didn't give up. You know they stayed on the sim. They got a couple picks with May. Oh, here's the May picks. Yeah. Um, that got them to the point, and then they just held it down with their their defensive. You know, back in my day, there was offense and defense heroes. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. So oh, I, I'm right there with you. Heroes, the little what was it, the rook symbol or whatever the heck yes, it was. Yes, exactly. Um, you know, they just had the defense heroes and were ready to ready to continually defend against uh, the, the inevitable running at them. Uh, but yeah, May is so super good on that point. The choke oh, yeah. points so good um, and splitting anybody. Um, but yeah, some really good picks there to get them onto the point because ultimately, I mean, if you never get to the point, you can't defend it. Yeah, exactly. And like, one thing too is I remember back like three or four years ago, Bailable used to play May all the time. And I asked him recently, why did you start playing May and like get good at May? And he said, because I hated people playing May against me and just, you know, beating me every game. So I just decided to do it to them. And hey, I was like, you know what? That's fair. If you can't beat them, join them. Exactly. You know? exactly. You, you got to assert your dominance as the, the <laughs> alpha May. The alpha May. Yes. That's good. That's good. But yeah, no, that entire game, it went a little bit differently than I thought it would go. Um, but I mean, it still was pretty close back and forth. The teams are fairly yeah, very balanced. Close. Yeah. And we went so. to map three, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know, one team capped and then the other team got it. So, uh, you know, it, was, it, was, yeah. it wasn't a, a, a stomp, yeah. it wasn't a, you know, in any way. Exactly. Um, and we got to see some some different heroes. A lot of different heroes were being pulled out. Didn't see much. Well, we did see D.Va. Who didn't we see? I don't know. But not a lot of, not a lot of uh, venture or... Um, Who's the speedy girl? Juno. That's oh, her yeah. Name. Yeah, I, I don't think, think we saw there. her, did I, we? I, no. Maybe once for a moment. Yeah, Speed I think Venture too. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I think we have to take a break here for a little bit, so we will be right back with the next game.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are on the classic. We, we were literally just talking about this we before were. the first game. We're like Lee Jong and uh, King's Row that we lovingly used to call Saints Row on the broadcast here. Uh, but yeah, King's Row. Love to see it. Very excited to see what comps we'll see here. Well, we have the Divas. Oh, we have a Diva. Sorry, I thought we had Diva Mirror, but we do have the Diva, and we've got a... I see a Sombra there, you know? I'm, I'm always looking for the Sombra. Oh, yeah. Sneaking but, uh, behind there. Yeah, you can get some, some good flank angles here. You know, play some off angles and just attack from every angle. Um, you know, uh, the classic opening with the Widowmaker, I believe we had, but now we're on... On Ash, or did I miss that? I'm, I missed it. Did we have Did we have Widow and then they switched to May? I'm, I thought I saw a Widowmaker too. I might but does it matter? <laughs> Injustice coming in here and cleaning up. And first push is uh, kind of sent back to spawn here. Yeah, looks like our green team just gonna hold fast here, hold strong on the point. Yeah, building some nice, nice ult charge for both uh, Zarya and Bap there, which obviously grabs. Great at holding this choke um, against a grouped up team. Um, but there is a Pharah that does not matter. Taken out by Zarya. She said, you're on the ground. I don't care. I can still reach you. Um, and, and, and they decided it's Widowmaker time. <laughs> it's Widowmaker time. And we're going to hold that. We're going to oh. hold that. Uh, big grab coming out. My goodness. Almost to the spawn doors. I, you know, I think I think Sombra actually touched the spawn door there. Yeah, that was uh, that was brutal there. It looks like yellow team kind of having a rough start here. Soaks building up some ultimate charge. Going to see through walls. But I mean, if they're at your doorstep, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Yeah, and uh, a lot of this defense, you know, relies on ultimate rotation. So, you know, you grab, and then you have the window, and then maybe you run at them with... I mean, they could do an EMP Blizzard, um, but you got that Kiriko. If she can be out of it and get a little Suzu, you can shut it all down, and that could be their, their break-in. But, of course, there's always Widowmaker that can make a pick uh, and get the opening, but it looks like Kiriko is going to get the pick. Um, but the window's running, and oh, the little immortality bounce there. Oh, wow. Taking a little scroll. Supports are doing work on both teams right now. Looks like yellow team gonna have to kind of regroup back at spawn real quick. So getting some picks here and there as well. But uh, I am noticing Noxious just becoming a sniper in his own right. Yeah, well, and the sniper that now has walls, um, <laughs> you know. She's speaking French, and that helps the whole team. So, oh, yeah. But it looks like Noxious was taken out, and Sombra also gets a pick. Red X. Looks like uh, this could be the... the, the uh, That's what you get another hold. So another hold happening. Oh, yeah. Only a minute left here for Yellow Team to make a break-in onto the point. Soak's going to go down. Kind of uh, staggered a little bit, but that's okay with Widowmaker being able to grapple anywhere she pleases, really. Oh, no. That's a big pick onto big Noxious. Big stagger. Going to cause another delay here. Ah, she can team. teleport out of spawn. Yeah. yeah. And an EMP coming out. The Sombra domination. You know, you were talking about the May. It's trying to assert your May dominance, but oh, yeah. that was straight up... That was that was straight up. The Sombra was alone, and she got solo EMP'd. So, not sure. Um, you know, as long as they can hold this, it's fine. But that might have been a little bit of a toss there. Yeah. So it's on the Echo. Kitsune comes out, but Echo taken down right before. Oh, this is gonna be rough for Yellow. And a huge grab. And that's gonna be yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. They a tea bag. Now wait a minute. Wait a second. First the solo EMP, and now man. That's some BM they're, right there. <laughs> BM among friends. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yes. Any Stop. other any other team, and it'd be like, okay, okay. But since they all know each other, we'll let it pass. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, you know, the EMP, they wanted to s shut down the other Sombra so they couldn't get the scouting intel or whatever they wanted. Um, but it was enough. It was enough to, uh, they, you know, maybe they said, hey, you go assert that dominance. Don't let her get EMP, and uh, I'll grab them when they come to, come to point. Um, and grab Blizzard, of course. Oh. Yeah. What can you do? <laughs> You're you can down. Suzu. <laughs> you can Suzu. Yeah. You know, there's, can there's you ways. Can you close both, though? At the same time? I mean, it just buys time. It buys enough time. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, 
Why has Kiriko got to do it all? Why yeah, has she got to do know. it all? She snipes, <laughs> she heals, she peels. Yep. She does it all, truly. Like, And it's... look at that. We oh. have a little Juno. All right. I haven't actually seen much Juno gameplay because uh, I haven't really played since she came out. Well, she's, uh, she's speedy. She flies a little bit. And okay. um, her ult... Kind of like a mix between, you know, Transcendence and uh, Mercy Damage Beam. Oh, you know? okay. So it kind of buffs the team and uh, yeah, gives Yeah, you them get up. healing and you get a damage boost. Right. Um, so very, very strong at pushing, um, which they are trying to push. Um, and all they have to do is get one tick. Yes. Because um, our lovely green team slash left team, no, what, what right team? Oh wait, they're defending. What am I saying? Oh wait, no, both teams have Juno now. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm me losing too. It. Me too. Oh. And so you heal. You heal kind of like as Anna. Oh, um, so you have the shoot to heal. Okay. Yeah. Um. I see. So we'll see if they can. A pick already happening. Oh, but that's on the. That's on the. That's on the defense. Uh. So not it. Not as uh, game ending. We'll say. Okay. Yeah. This is uh. Yellow team gonna get uh, their Juno picked off, which is not good. And being down two at this point, three, four, yeah. that's it's over. There's no way unless that's toast. yeah, no, no that's there's toast. more tea bagging, more oh punching my. ground. Razor, all right. Oh, but could Somber get the touch? Will they overextend? I think Tracer got on there too potentially. No, nope, that's, that's game. Enough. That's One game. Tick at that point, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Yeah, so now we're 1-1 in the series. I think our third map would be Control Point. If that's oh, the tea bags, but the hearts. Oh, see, they, they still love each other. They're still friends. <laughs> and the play is going to go to Razor, just cleaning up on that Zarya. I think this is the Graviton right here. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Clean up the yellow team for the green to hold the point. So. We'll have to see. I think they're going to get into game fairly quickly as long as uh, I think last time the only reason that we had a little bit of a delay was um, one of the players had a tech issue, but it looks like they're all ready to go, already warmed up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we got some, uh, looks like some nice jerseys out there. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, were you any part of designing those jerseys? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not uh, not the jerseys, but uh, yeah. Usually, I I do a lot of like stream assets, uh, like the the starting and, and break screen is what I kind of did recently, and then oh, uh, cool. right now I'm gonna try to overhaul some more stream stuff. But sure. Yeah. No, we have uh, an awesome marketing team that is kind of in charge of that, um, and they did they did a pretty good job with the the jerseys this year. I'd say like I really like the, the like solid green and. Uh, little gold well, of designs. course, we have the green and, and gold yes, back here exactly. as well. Uh, very thematic, of course. <laughs> yeah, I um, mean, you can tell our brand colors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good to have a very, you know, as as here as well, have very yeah. themed, very thematic. Um, exactly. But yes, looks like uh, next game, what are we expecting? Who, who's going to take it? I don't know, because I mean, after that last game, the green team looked a lot more like... They looked a lot more solid and like flexible with their heroes, I guess. Um, yeah, a lot of hero swaps. Yeah, exactly. So I think they kind of have the upper hand in this next game. But I mean, yellow team could still bring it back. It, it all depends, really. A lot of support kills. Yes, a, a lot, lot of support, support kills. kills and a lot of grabs that were. Yes. I kept seeing Zarya and supports. Not where. Where were the DPS? What, what, what happens there? I don't know. You know I it's... mean, I know Noxious and Soaks are both. Uh, part of the varsity team so they are definitely like players to look out for on the yellow team but yeah i don't know i, I think uh, a little bit more dps and and they have a chance yeah oh i mean we saw you know may go in there and oh, true. dink 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 real quick so yeah. a couple plays like that can uh, can help take this third game i think he just needs to play may i think <laughs> i think that's the answer you know let's get some may out there yeah. right. you know it works with zarya works with grav i'm all for may you know oh yeah she's tanky still she didn't get the hp nerf you know oh, on the yeah. the most recent uh not, not most recent but you know there was a whole nerfed a lot of the mobile heroes down to 225 and yeah. that, that kind of shifted a lot of things you know we saw a lot yeah. of reaper coming forward um a lot of may still continuing to have that you know 
extra HP. Yeah. HP helps a lot, you know, if you don't die, it then does. you can just keep killing. You know? <laughs> and like everybody getting the old support passive too a while back, you know, that kind of disrupted the game too. A lot of people are like, well, they can just, you know, peel out of the fight and chill for a couple minutes and come right back in and they're all 100%. Well, it looks like we're on Havana Na Na Na. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of Widowmaker, a lot of snipers on this yes. map. Um, do you know if there's any sniper, any any Widow Hanzo players on either of these teams? Uh, I'm seeing Hanzo on the yellow team. Looks They're like known for their Hanzo. That is true. Yeah, yellow team. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have Anna as well in there, which can help out a little bit with sniping. We're gonna see the Ash come out on the side of the green team, and. That dang May on both teams. Both teams. It looks like there's going to be a close hold here. Um, yeah. You know, you just shove the door. Don't let them out. They can't touch. They can't cap. I've had many, many games of this situation, which of course oh, yeah. I love because I love playing May. Um, <laughs> so sometimes you just have to, you know, go out either door and try to get a pick and go from there. And with already one pick happening. Um, on the Ash, that loses a lot of their DPS capability. Um, yeah. So you kind of just have to sit there and stall for a while, but will they be able to stall long enough for Soldier 76? A good switch to come back to point fast. Um, and they may actually be able to hold it long enough. Actually, I think Soaks' plan here is to just build up all charge so he can pop the Transcendence, get the team just outside the door so they can actually take a favorable fight here. Uh, and then maybe swap back to another hero. We'll have to see. Yeah, the again, the attacking team splitting and uh, coming out different sides, trying to take a couple off angles. Uh, makes the ice wall uh, less less good. You know, you can you can get out. You're not just all trying to get through that one choke on Hanamura. Yeah. Looks like Loveno did take out Razor. So Green Team's down their tank as he comes back from spawn, but I mean, the rest of the green team just cleaned up the yellow team as well. So, I mean, now that Razor's back, that was kind of like their opening, they kind of missed it. But we're gonna see uh, the swap over from Hanzo to Tracer and Bastion. Bastion just for raw damage, but they are out of the out of the door. You know, they're done being spawn trapped. But uh, looks like we have a window here, and this is a great immortality spot. Um, you know, you can just peek the window, hide the corner, whatever you need to do. It's hard to kill the immortality field. And a big shatter didn't get blocked, and a charge right into the thing. And we've got the lizard coming in in the small room. That's always going to be good. Uh, Tracer, I guess, trying to do a little, you know, there was not much she could do there at that point, you yeah. know, her team was gone, and now they're trapped at the door again. Oh, dang, just when they got out, they escaped prison, they're sent right back to their cell. <laughs> this is a, a situation, you know, I don't want to keep pushing Sombra, but this is a situation where she can kind of force a little back up and, and pull people away. You're um, absolutely correct. But looks like they're going to go more of the Widowmaker straight into the ship. Almost got a pick there. Very close oh. shot. Using the new, is this the new skin? Oh my goodness, it's the new Widowmaker skin. Oh, I see. But Beatrop comes in and pushes him right back into spawn. Big pick on the May, but Anna is gonna go down. Love Note has ult, and looks like we're gonna see Anna pop that nano maybe on the shatter. We'll see. A little bit of a combo action going on here. Soaks and available. Both supports down. Wow. All right. Judgmental is gonna take out available. Noxious take out Zay. A little bit of a Reinhardt brawl that Love Note is going to come out victorious in. Yeah, exactly. I mean. They got him, right? They got They him. finally got out the door, of course. Yeah, exactly. And as we were talking about earlier, oh. we got the double snipers coming out. Uh, yep. It's Widowmaker time. Oh my goodness. Red X is scary on that Widowmaker. You can see Noxious on the Widow as well. And which one of the, well, you know these players more than I do. Who's gonna win here, Red X or, or Noxious and the Widow off? Uh, I really don't know. But a Shatter's coming in. Oh, look at that. Lucio Gaming happening on stream right now. Noxious gonna take out Judgmental, but Red X takes out Noxious. Gonna be the winner of that Widow battle. We're down to 10 seconds on the clock. 
The emergency Sombra coming out to touch. They do have alts. We have Sunrise. We have Shatter. We got Walls. That might have hit a car. Oh my. I can hear Maniacal laughing outside. One of the teams is popping off right now. Oh my goodness. Looks like Noxious going to take out Zay. He's Still got a winnable. lot of work to do there. Yeah, I think the yellow team is pretty much cooked at this point. It is now burnt. Somber They're touch not once again. Another team. Man, they just so are sending it back bags. and forth. Yeah, no coffee fans in the chat, I guess. There's all tea bags around here. This is. This is going to be really tough for the yellow team because they're going to have to play this immaculately. I mean, they can afford to lose maybe one fight. Yeah, I think we're going to see them run it back on trying to hold them in spawn. Oh, yeah. I think kind of that's that's the only... Mm, it's the most consistent. Most consistent. I mean, like, you could try to double sniper and just, like, pick them off continually, but they get ults once and pick you, you're done. So yeah. at least with the May opening, holding the spawn door, you can... Maybe cheese out a little win. You know, they yeah, did exactly. it. Why not do it back to them? Exactly. So the question is, how is the attacking team going to get out of spawn? I am not sure how this what is going to go I for am. them, but it looks like they're planning to speed out of spawn in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> well, Red X kind of covers the, uh, you know, try to get a pick here or there with the Widowmaker in the back line. Yeah, that's ultimately, uh, as always, I think kind of the best uh, the best way to get out of that spawn is your team goes right and you send a Widowmaker or somebody else left and hope for a pick and go from there. Uh, but we do have the May and the Venture, uh, so definitely trying to hold the spawn. Surprised we don't have Reinhardt, uh, but Ramatra's still fine at holding the doors, you know, locking them down. Oh yeah, can see Soaks chilling on top of the gas station. Yeah, we see we have the uh, we have half the team going out that way, and what will happen on the other side? Will they get a pick? Oh. And it looks like Reinhardt gets a charge, walks through the team, and just charges away and catches the Lucio. Widowmaker getting the pick after that, and they're already out of the spawn. And now it's pretty much down to one fight, unless that yeah. cart goes backwards. Uh, so we'll see if they switch it up. It looks like we do have to switch up for the May onto the Widowmaker. We're gonna have Noxious versus Red X once again on the Widow versus Widow. Ooh, um, we do see Venture though. Yeah, Venture's cool. still staying in there. Just a, a, a nice HP pool to you know, yeah. contest the point. You can contest a long time with Venture. Um, Is Venture still as lethal as they were uh, on launch? They were definitely lethal on launch. Oh, yeah. um, I'm not sure if they're quite as lethal. I know there's been a couple nerfs or changes and whatnot, uh, but with the HP pool change, they've become a little bit more lethal at killing those okay. heroes. Uh, and Widowmaker doesn't have a huge HP pool, so Adventure can get onto Widowmaker, but we shall see. We shall see. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case, though. We've got the Emergency Hammond coming out to touch the cart and stall, oh. but another pick on the Lucio, I just don't see. I don't see a way. You know, Venture can stall, but will Hammond even get there? Uh, oh, touches, just but... barely. Oh, like less than two meters here. Meter and a half. And with the Hammond going down, now it's up to Venture. Can Venture stall long enough? Widowmaker bypassing says, I don't care about you, Venture. My team will clean you up. Let me get anybody else. Picks oh up goodness. Lucio, and I think that's going to be it. Are they not pushing the cart? What's happening? <laughs> they don't what? want it to end. They want it to have a little <laughs> celebratory Widowmaker versus Reinhardt battle for two minutes and two seconds. And that's the game. Yep, that's the they game. They said enough's enough. We were waiting on our Torbjorn ult and we got it. I a like celebratory uh, Torbjorn ult. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. I, oh, look at this. Oh, Big hugs all Good around. Good games. Yeah. And a May of the game. May of the game. It's the blizzard inside. A huge blizzard. Wow. It's hard to get out of there. Yeah. Trans, I think I heard Transcendence trying to save him, but I don't know where they were. Too little too late, I think, at that point. I mean. They were using it to run. Yeah. Yeah. As you should. Just to get out. I mean, it was really hard for Yellow Team to really make anything work there because of the Lucio, the pick on the Lucio over and over again. Making it so the team can't get out very easily or get in very easily makes totally, like, 
difficult for them to kind of hold that point after Lucio is dead, but looks like there is some camaraderie going on. Lots of handshakes, fist bumps, all that jazz. See lots of smiles too, so yeah. you know. Here to win, have a good time, be competitive, but at the end of the day, fun. Oh yeah, look at that. Big fist bumps all around, both sides. Look pretty happy though, even though, you know, th there was a, a winner and a loser. I mean, they were all having a good time. You could hear them laughing out there through our soundproof door. So <laughs> they you know must have been fun. laughing pretty good then. Though, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So um, yeah, I mean, that was that was our best of three show match today. Uh, I mean, how did you kind of feel about those games? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, there was some definitely some good plays, definitely some throws no 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 <laughs> um but no the uh you know the classics it felt like the classics of uh the maps you know we had the symmetra on Li Zhang. we had the uh the may full hold spawn door like yeah, that's that's for havana that's a very very classic um yeah. and then of course king's row um but yeah lots of may lots of i got to see some somber i didn't see a yeah. lot of somber popping off you yeah know? that's the thing there was no big the emp fights were lost immediately exactly um, so you gotta work on that but you know i'll have to find someone that can help you with that you exactly know? I, you know i think i know a guy yeah yeah <laughs> Well, that was our best of three show match. Congratulations to the green team. We're going to throw it to a really quick break, and then Zarin's going to be back with the moment a lot of people have been waiting for, the raffle for some of the free Alienware gear. So we'll see you guys very shortly.